and they bring the word of God to us. Come on, heart for Jesus for our pastor. Amen and amen. This home. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm so glad to be here today. Nashukuru Mungu kwamba niko hapa siku ya leo. Nataka kushukuru baba yetu Bishop Kanyaru and Mom Jennifer. Sante kwa kunipatia hii fursa ili niweze kuhudumu neno la Mungu. I don't take it for granted. I know that it's a privilege, it's a blessing. Mungu awabariki sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ninataka kuleta salamu kutoka kwetu, nataka kuleta salamu kutoka kwa kanisa ya Deliverance Church Ijaton, Njoro, Nakuru County, Njoro Sub County. Uh, mmepokea salamu. Salamu kutoka kwa pasta, salamu kutoka kwa washiriki. Kuna mmoja aliniambia ninakutuma kwa niaba ya kanisa yote. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, ninataka kuleta also kutoka kwa familia yangu. My family also loves Bishop. Thank you so much. You've been a father to us, to the ministry, to the nation, and even to us as a family. The Lord bless you. Bwanaesa sifiwe. Kwa majina naitua Reverend Melissa Benson. Nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Mimi na mume wangu. Ama mume wangu na mimi tuna hubiri na tunachunga kanisa la Deliverance Church International Egerton. Bwanaesa sifiwe. Amen. Na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu na ningependa tuingie kwa neno la Mungu ili tuweze tukaokoa masaa Bwana sifiwe. Uh, ningependa wiki hii kama vile tumepata uh, ujumbe kwamba tuko na lunch hour na revival meetings so I have two messages for the lunch hour and for the revival meetings. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So for lunch hour we are going to start today with the book we will be using the book of Mark chapter 14 verse 1 to 9. Kitabu cha Mariko mlango wa 14 mstari wa kwanza hadi wa 9. Ukiniruhusu nitasoma haraka ili tuweze kuendelea. It was now two days before the festival of the Passover and unleavened bread. Okay. The chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for a way to arrest Jesus secretly and put him to death. We must not do it during the festival, they said, or the people might riot. Verse 3, Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon, a man who had suffered from a dreaded skin disease. While Jesus was eating, a woman came in with a alabaster jar full of a very expensive perfume made of pure night. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on Jesus' head. Some of the people that were there, some of the people there became angry and said to one another, what was the use of wasting the perfume? It could have been sold for more than 300 silver coins and the money given to the poor. And they criticized her harshly. But Jesus said, leave her alone. Why are you bothering her? She has done a fine and beautiful thing to me. You will always have the poor people with you and anytime you want to, you can help them. But you will not always have me. Verse 8, she did what she could. She poured perfume on my head to prepare it ahead of time for burial. Now, I assure, I assure you that wherever the gospel is preached all over the world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. We pray that you'll minister to us, open our spiritual ears, pour on us fresh oil to receive your mysteries. This afternoon, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The message I'm going to put today is called is power in thanksgiving. There is power in thanksgiving. We are going to dwell to tayenda na kitabu hicho cha Mariko 14 lakini katika kila kipengele kimoja ama kiwili basi tutakuwa tukipata ujumbe. Tutakuwa tukitoa pale minofu ya kiroho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na naamini kwamba wiki hii Mungu atatutendea mambo mazuri na tutatoka kama maisha yetu yamebadilika katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So kwa hivyo nitaanza na nita, nitashika pale mstari wa tatu leo ndio I want to zero in in verse 3 ambayo inasema kwamba katika nyumba ya Simeoni the translation the King James version inasema Simon the leper inamuita Simon Simeoni aliye mwenye ukoma ama aliyekuwa na uko na ukoma na ningependa mjue kwamba kulikuwa na Simeoni wengi katika Biblia so wakati ambapo Biblia inasema Simeoni the leper inatumia so that iweze kuwa, kuwa, uh, uh, kutofautisha yule Simeoni wa wengine kama kwa mfano kuna Simon Peter tunamjua was Jesus disciple we have Simon the zealot 
We have Simon the Canaanite. We have Simon the father of John, uh, Judas Iscariot. We have Simon the Cyrene. We have Simon the Sorcerer. We have Simon, uh, I think the, the other one is Simon the Tana. Yule alikuwa mbawa natengeneza vitu vya kuuza. Sawa sawa, tents. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But this one it's saying Simon the leper ili kutupatia utofauti kwa sababu Simioni ni we ni wengi. Na kwa nini ni kwa sababu unapoangalia neno linasema Simioni aliita, aliandaa karamu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Alipoandaa karamu akaita Yesu na wanafunzi wake na akaita pamoja na watu wengine. He called Jesus and his disciples and because it was a dinner we'll talk about the dinner later because it was a dinner and we will come to see the difference between a dinner and a supper Bwana Yesu asifiwe wadada wanaelewa so it was a dinner that he had prepared for the purpose of giving thanks because of his healing why because the bible says in the law of moses in the old testament any person that suffered from leprosy hakutakikana kuunganika kuunganika na watu wengine ulikuwa na yeye kando unaitwa outcast unahitajiki because the disease was very contagious hiyo ugonjwa ilikuwa contagious na ilikuwa ugonjwa ambao ukikana mtu ana ukoma kama vile corona ilikuwa inafanya ukikana mtu ama ebola mtu mwenye ako na sorry mtu mwenye ako na corona Ukikaa naye mtu ambaye alikuwa na korona ulikuwa unashikwa mtu ambaye alikuwa ako na ukoma unashikwa so kwa hivyo walikuwa kitengwa wakiwekwa kando but here the bible is saying Simon the leper not that he had leprosy at that time the lord has healed him or had healed him of leprosy and now he was giving thanks that's why jesus came into his house are we together up to there and even when i was praying about it in the morning bishop there's something that i felt in my spirit and I asked that even in the church today why are we learning about this because even in the church today it's sad to say that we have people that have leprosy and they have contaminated the church yani kuna unajua ile ukoma uko nayo wa kiroho spiritual leprosy mungu atusaidie kwa nini kwa sababu mtu mwenye alikuwa na leprosy alikuwa anajitenga anangoja anapona anatakasika na mnataka kujua kwamba ugonjwa ya leprosy ilikuwa ugonjwa ambao inakata viungo ina disform mtu bishop dad kwamba kanisa saa hizi ukiangalia ukisema biblia inasema katika first corinthians chapter 12 kwamba we are the body of jesus christ and we each one of us ni kiu could it be that kuna viungo vingine ambavyo vimekatika kwa sababu ya spiritual leprosy that's why the church looks like deformed May God help us in Jesus name. Kwamba uchafu ama mambo ambayo yameingia katika kanisa yanaweza kuwa katika sisi kutojua na kutoelewa yameadhiri kanisa. Kwa sababu saa hizi hata ukiambia watu umeokoka ama we unaenda kanisani na hasa sisi ambao ni wahubiri unalinganishwa na watu wengine. Ni kama kwamba sasa kanisa halisikiki. But I thank God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Whatever is happening in the church in the church now one thing that gives me peace one thing that gives me boldness to continue preaching about this jesus is because he said and i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it in jesus name bwana yesu asifiwe so chochote kile ambacho kinatendeka is hata kama kunaonekana kuna ukoma nataka kusema kwamba hata ukoma unaponywa na yesu now whatever the church is going through don't you walk with your head down hata uambie mtu mimi nimeokoka na Yesu ni Bwana na hata yeye umhubirie aokoke akikwambia kanisa ni kama ada ile na huko na huko mwambie sio hilo kwa sababu kanisa ni Kristo anajenga na wapendwa tutasimama tena katika jina la Yesu i'm telling you will come out of this victorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ maana Yesu alisema wakati ambapo mpanzi alienda kupanda alipanda ngano ikawa pamoja na magugu akawaambia waachana tunawa kwa sababu wakati utafika wa kuvuna ndio tutajua magugu by the way magugu hufaga yenyewe hata mwenye anaenda kuvuna haendi kuvuna magugu bwana Yesu asifiwe so tutajua mbivu na mbi na mbichi tumeiona iko lakini haitutishi wako pamoja nasi hapa hapa lakini sisi tunajua tumesimama juu ya mwa mwamba ambao ni Kristo Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So kuna mambo kidogo ambayo ningependa tuweze tukajifunza. He is 
build, give, building his church and he's using remnants. Na wewe na mimi ni remnants. That's why we are here over this lunch hour. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kama vile bishop amesema alika mwingine akuja by Friday we believe this place will be packed in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So one of the lessons I want us to learn from from Simon the leper is that to give thanks. Thanksgiving is a personal thing. It you must make a personal decision. Why? Because in Luke chapter 17, we will not read because of time. Luke chapter 17 from verse 15. We all know about the story of the 10 lepers that came to Jesus. When they came to Jesus, they were all healed. They were told, go, you are cleansed. Wakapona ni manake, zile vinonda ambazo zilikuwa zinatoa maji na uza zilikauka. Wakafurai wakuambia endeni. Wakiwa wanenda wakiwa njiani, mumoja, akagundua kwamba, ala, kumbe hii mambo inafanya kazi, ah, mimi nimepona, mm-mm, akakata kaudi. Thanksgiving is a personal decision. Mwambie mwenzako Thanksgiving is a personal decision. Kwa nini kwa sababu inaonekana alipona amepona labda aliambia wenzake. Akawambia we turudi twende tukashukuru. Wakawambia nini sisi bora tumepo? So wewe katika maisha yako ya kiroho you must reach a point where you make a personal decision. I want us to think about this. What are things that God has done in your life? Mambo ambayo Mungu amekufanyia mpaka umesahau kumtolea shukrani haitajiki kuwa hivyo usingoje kila mtu akuambie twende tutoe shukurani. amen na ni kwamba hivi mtu mtu akaimba akasema zilizo baraka zihesabu tu nawe utaona ni maajabu ku i was remembering we were in this place before corona it's almost 5 years we have not come here but to be here today it's a miracle amen. and we thank god in jesus name to be here for this lunch hour it's a miracle to sleep at night and to wake up in the morning, it's a miracle. We have something to thank God. For you to have parents, for you to have a family, for you to divorce is very high rate. For you to have a spouse, muko pamoja nae hakuna kitu kimuasumbua, you have something to thank God for. For your children to go to school, kuna wengine wajaenda, mana hawana kitu chakukula, you have something to thank God for. Ili wewe kupata hata fisi ya kulipia watoto wako, you have something to thank God for kusimama na kutembea na kukuja na labda uko na kazi kuna watu corona iliingilia kuna watu uchumi imewafungia biashara ikiwa uko na biashara umefungua dada yangu you have something to thank god for so giving thanks is a personal decision tell somebody make a personal decision bwana yesu asifiwe point number 2 that if giving thanks it's a personal decision point number 2 giving thanks is a weapon of warfare Kutoa shukurani ni kipawa cha kupigana vita vya kiroho. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu shetani hangependa uendelee, hangependa ukuwe na uzima, hangependa ukuwe na hiyo kazi unafanya, anapigana nasi kila siku. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We have an enemy that is fighting us every day. But here I want to say in in um, in, in first the Solomon's chapter 5 verse 18 it say in everything give in all things do what? It means in the bad and the good. Mambo mazuri na mambo mabaya toa shukurani. When you natoa shukurani wapendo anataka kusema ikiwa uko hapa na unapitia wakati mgumu jaribu shukurani. Enda ujifungue pale useme Mungu hata kwa haya ninakushukuru. I may not understand but I thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is you making a statement in the spiritual realm and showing that Thanksgiving sends confusion in the camp of the enemy. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa sababu wakati ambapo unatoa thanks shetani anashanga hata hii nimemtupia bado anatoa shukurani ndio nitatoa shukurani Bwana asifiwe. It sends confusion because we are in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 we all know it says the, all these things all the things we are going through. The Bible says pale in everything give thanks. In all things give thanks. In the good and the bad. Verse 38, it's, it's 28 nasema, all things work out together for good to those that love the Lord and those that are called according to his purpose. You have an agenda in the, in the eyes of God. You have an agenda. God has an agenda for you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo mambo yote mazuri mabaya yanatendeka wema kwa wale wampendao Mungu. Kwa nini ikitendeka mbaya unashukuru Mungu. Unaenda katika closet yako ya maombi, unasema Bwana na kushukuru kwa sababu hata hii 
it will work out for my good. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwamba hata unapopitia wakati mgumu siji kama umepitia wakati mgumu. Kuna wakati unafika pali unataka kufika level ingine vita vinakuwa vikali. Lakini katika hiyo mambo ambayo inaonekana confusion there is something that you are learning. Kuna pali ambapo Mungu atainua imani yako. Kuna pali ambapo Mungu atatoa vitu zingine katika maisha zako ambao ulifikiria ni kawaida. Wewe ni mwokovu lakini unaishi maisha ambayo hayaonyeshi wokovu. Kuna mistake you can make God anakuadhibu anakuadhibu anakuchastise anakukorrect and correction is not so comfortable and you go through a very bad season but when you come out if you hold on to God when you come out you learn a lesson and they said when you learn a lesson you will not repeat the same mistake Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa nitataka kusema wakati tunashukuru inakuwa vita vya kiroho tunamwambia Mungu hata hii yenye imekuja ni mbaya hata hii ambayo inaonekana kama sielewi nitakapotoka ndani I'll be refined pure than gold your faith will be refined Bwana Yesu asifiwe Daudi alipokutana na na na, na Goliatho mnajua alisema nini alipokutana na Simba wewe unatakuniambia kutana na Simba ni kitu rahisi akaiua he akajua kumbe inawezekana akakuja dubu ikakuja akaiua e, akajua akakuwa na imani by the time anakutana na Goliath akasema the same god who delivered me from the lion and the bear will deliver me from your hands in the mighty name of Jesus so the bad things we go through the battles we fight my sister my brother take heart because out of that battle you will have learned something you will have learned to believe god utakumejifunza jinsi ya kumwamini mungu ukijua hata katika haya mungu amesema nitakuwa na wewe sitakuacha wakati wako wote bwana yesu asifiwe in the same You will because why? Hata kama ni mistake wewe mwenyewe umefanya, umeanguka kwa dhambi. Penye huko unasikia unasema mimi sasa kusema kweli mambo yangu yamekwisha. Ukimrudia Bwana hayajakwisha. Maana Biblia inasema katika Proverbs 26 verse 16 that a righteous man anangukaga mara saa. Shida ni ukae hapo. Amuka. Hata kama umejikuta katika ikwaje, kuja kwa bishop mwambie bishop, mimi niliamka nataka kuru. Nuk, una mpaka usimame hata kama makosa ni yako utasimama kuna vitu ambavyo kama wakristo tulipookoka hatujawachana nazo kuna strongholds kuna maneno kuna kakitu kana kusukumanga kwa kona unajikuta umefanya hiyo kitu even when you do the, tell the enemy that a righteous man anezanguka mara saba lakini ataamuka na nitaamuka tena na wakati utafika seven is completion when god has done with you you will stand in jesus mighty name because it is not the desire of god kwamba uokoke urudi nyuma That is not our portion. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kama uko hapa na ulio umeokoka ukarudi nyuma na unakaa hujui kama umeokoka there is a chance for you to come back to Christ. Utamwona bishop mwambie kusema kweli bishop naweza kuwa mimi sio wa kanisa lako lakini kuna mambo yalitendeka. Nirejeshe katika wema wa Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Verse 37 nasema in all these things in the good and the bad we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Verse 38 38 to 39 nasema and I'm persuaded so it is you must know it is a weapon of warfare who you are persuaded yani kumaanisha katika kushukuru Mungu kwa mambo yote ai shetani anakuangalia anasema huyu amekata kauli hata nikijaribu hata hata, hata kubali bwana asifiwe statement number 4 number 3 number 3 one of the other thing we are learning is when you give thanks it is a statement of faith when you give thanks you are simply refusing to to the present to dictate your future ninaweza kuwa sikia jeremiah 29:11 inasema for i know the thoughts i have about you ni mawazo ya kukupatia siku za usoni zenye fana na za ushindi si ndio tunaambiwa hivyo sasa ni kama kusema unaponiona hapa ninaweza kuwa niko katika hii hali naweza kuwa nimefinyika but i'm giving thanks thanking god for the future Why because my tomorrow must be greater than my today. Muimbaji alimba amen. I might be down lakini usinichekelea adui wangu. Niko hapa lakini najua ninapoendelea na Mungu. Ninapoendelea kushikilia Mungu, kushikilia hii imani, kuendelea katika kumtumikia Mungu, kuendelea katika kuamini kwamba mambo yote utendeka kwa wema. My tomorrow is going to be brighter in Jesus name. So I came to say it doesn't matter what you are going through, give thanks to God and you see this faithful God Ataona unamshukuru kwa yote na umeshika. Umeambia shetani mimi hapa sitoki. Your tomorrow will be better than today. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mpendwa usijiangalie ukajidharau. Kesho utakuwa beta. Wengine wanaweza kuwa kamba wanaenda haraka kukuliko. What a competition, what a kungangana. Sema my tomorrow will be better than today in Jesus name. Kwamba nitaenda pamoja na Mungu pole pole kahora kahora tukienda kwa sababu inakuwa shida ukienda mbele ama ubaki nyuma ama umaki time. Tunaenda yetu. Ah ah. Pole pole na Mungu kiendelea, Mungu akikufunza njia zake, Mungu akikufunza wokovu, akikufunza kuishi utakatifu, akikufunza njia zake. Eh, hey, watu wataona umeomoka Bwana. Na watasema my tomorrow must be better than today when I give thanks in Jesus name. The last one is a, is a sign of maturity. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati ambapo unapeana thanks, it's a sign of maturity. Can I say this? Mtoto mdogo wakati ambapo anaridia kitu labda uko na sweet ama uko na biscuit akililia ukimpea anatosekaga atalia tena kwa mfano kama ningekuwa na kitu kwa mkono mtoto akuje nimpe atoto kadogo nikiwa nimevaa mewani atatupa ile chini atafute mewani atake kuichuku kama ni labda baba amekuja anapea mtoto mdogo kitu ataona ni nini iko kwa shati aone ni simu atatupa ile yenye umempea chini anataka si so when you give thanks there is a difference you are you are mature wakati ambapo usijui kama umeingia kwa nyumba ya mtu sisi wa mama huwa tunaenda na kondoo alafu labda umenunulia watoto unasema nimewaletea mkati utajua mtoto mwenye amefunzwa adabu good manners unapopeana unampea hii na hii ni yako mtoto akikuja akasema Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What do you do? You feel very proud for the parents. Unajua kwamba hao wazazi wamefundisha mtoto tabia mzuri, tabia mzuri. Na wakati ambapo mambo yanatendeka ama wakati ambapo mambo yametendeka, tunarudi tunaambia Mungu asanti. He's proud. Because this one when he said, "Thank you Jesus for healing me." What did Jesus say? Alimwambia, "You are made whole." And scholars say being made whole ni kwamba viungo zake zilipo zilirudi zikamea na zikatoka alikuwa hana vidole vikarudi akawa na stability bwana Yesu asifiwe as i finish i'm saying like this let us mature up because when god does something for you please mature up na mimi nataka kuwaacha na hii assignment because the bible says be doers of the word if you hear the word and you you it's like you are looking yourself in the word in the mirror wakati ambapo unaenda usifanye hilo neno unasahau ulikuwa unafananaje neno la Mungu limesema give thanks na kupatia tu vipengele viwili ya kwanza kama hupeanagi thanks learn to give thanks in the morning as you wake up wadada wakati unaweka breakfast kwa meza pamoja na ndugu na watoto wanaenda shuleni semeni wacha tuombe chai ni unapoombea chai hapana kusema for this cup of tea we are about to take oh god bless it na watoto wanasema amen Mm-mm. sema father we thank you that you have woken us up you have given us a new day this is the day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in it as my husband goes out i cover him with the blood of jesus i thank you that you are going to bless the work of his hands as my children go out i bless them and i thank you lord because they are going to excel in school they are heads and they are not tails kwani hiyo itakuchukua dakika ngapi bwana asifiwe mara mara mingi tunamkaga tumeto jifundishe kupeana shukrani father we thank you kuna wale ambao hawakuamka walilala usiku hawakuamka sisi tumeamu Situanza na hiyo ya asubuhi. Jioni mama anaweza omba asubuhi, mzee aombe jio. Kwa sababu jioni ndio mama anashughulika watoto, fua osha pika. Ndugu wacha kukaa pale uko kwa view sasa, tiki toko, inoro, sijui wapi. Kaa pale mpaka unakula, unalala unakojua kuambiwa we dokere, uende kulala. Mm-mm. Jifundishe kutewa thanks. Chukua authority as the father, as the priest of the house. When you finish eating in the evening. Amen. Ambia family kuja hapa. Watoto mnaenda kulala kujeni hapa keti chini. Because the Bible says you are the, the, the priest of the family. Amen. Ka hapo waambie watoto sasa sikeni funga macho. Mnataka kwenda kulala yetu. Shukuru. Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya siku mzima. Tumekuona umekuwa pamoja nasi. Tujifundishe kuwa watendaji wane. And when God sees that, he'll pat your parents on the back. 
and say, for sure, I raised my servant, and he has taught his children to give thanks, and God will bless you and bless your parents. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Tusimame pamoja. Tusimame pamoja. Bishop unapo kuja. Tuweze kupeana. Shukurani mbele za buwana tunapo maliza. Na buwana wabariki katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Oibaji, ala? Tuinue mikono zote. Tuinue mikono yetu. Na tufungue mdomo yetu. Shukuru mungu sana. Sahi, fungua mdomo wako. Uwase kushukuru mungu. Kwa vile uliamuka, na vile mungu wamekusaindia, penda kazini, na kuja ranchawa, na kufika hapa, na kusikia hiyo neno. Ah, fukua mudomo. Fukua mudomo wako. Kila moja wetu, fukua mudomo. Umuabia mungu ni asenti. Kwa vile uli ni amusha. Ni asenti mungu papa. Kwa vile umekua na mimi. Katika kazini. Ni asenti mungu papa. Kwa kunyeta katika ranchawa. Ni asenti mungu papa. Kwa mutumisi wako. Ambaye umemurete. Ni asenti mungu papa. Kwa hile neno. Nimepata kusikia. Adhuli ya leo. Ni asenti mungu. Kwa vile mungu wetu. Utakua pamoja nazi. Siku ya leo. Ni asenti mungu. Kwa vile papa. Umeniwezeza. Kusikia. Kia sauti yako Habari ya kufu Ya kusukuru mungu Katika maishani mwangu Kwa chambo lorote Katika maishani mwetu Aleluya Tuendele kusukuru mungu Tuendele kusukuru mungu Tuendele kusukuru mungu Mungu wabia mungu ni asenti Ni asenti kwa uzima Ni asenti kwa wakofu Ni asenti kwa wakofu Ni asenti kwa ponyaji Ni asenti kwa munga wangu Ni asenti kwa baba kwa kwa muke wangu Ni asenti kwa toto wangu Ni asenti kwa kazi yangu Ni asenti kwa pesala yangu Ni asenti kwa visi yangu Ni asenti kwa mutumisi Ambayo mekulete ya leo Ni asenti kwa uibaji Ni asenti kwa kufu Atika maisha ni mwangu Mamba wetu Utukuzwe Winuliwe baba Kwa vila mungu wetu Unatupenda Unatupikilia mizuli Utukuzwe inuliwe Aleluya Utukuzwe baba Winuliwe Kwa uwa wakati Ambaye mungu wetu Umetupatia Na ili mungu wetu Tue wako ambaye wanakuwa na sukurani kwa mambo yote ama mungu wetu unatumania jina lako titukuzwe jina lako lipanikiwe jina lako inuwe kwa vila mungu wetu wewe ni mungu kwa mwede razi umetupatia hewa zuri umetupatia chakura na hewa zuri ya sani mungu wetu kwa makati kama huo sani mungu wetu umetuezeza kusikia sauti yako kusikia upenu kwa wako, kwa sikia ufunua wako, kwa sikia mapezi yako hile na uzi mashiritu kutukuzo inuwe ya baba haleluya shandara babu, shambara babu rika tarabara babu rika tarabara babu haleluya shandara babu kwa robo za ukoto robo yandara mina mashaka kwa robo za kete ni babu haleluya kwa robo za kete ni babu Boy, more of the guitar. Now, more of the guitar.
muda mdogo kabla tuende makwetu tufakari hiyo masomo ambayo tumepata kufundishwa na pastor wetu Melissa ya kwamba kuna nguvu katika sukurani na kuna mambo mengi ambaye Mungu wetu ametutendea na hizo mambo yote ambayo Mungu wetu ametutendea tunatakiwa tuwe watu ambaye wanakuwa ni watu wanashukuru Mungu We don't have enough time in this place to find God for what he has done to us since morning lakini vizuri tujue sisi ni watu ambayo Mungu wetu anataka tuwe ni watu ambayo wanatoa shukrani kila wakati vile tulipoka asubuhi vile Mungu wetu ametusaidia katika kazini katika biashara kwa jambo lolote ambalo tumefanya yes, tunataka kuwa watu ambaye wanashukuru Mungu hata kwa hii kipindi ambayo Mungu wetu ametuletea mtumishi wake na kutupatia nafasi na kuta katika rancha wa, kuna watu wakuja kuna watu wako hosi kuna watu wako na shida lakini Mungu wetu zote si tuko hapa ametuwezeza kuja katika miguni mwa Mungu ya Mungu wetu na tupata kusikia neno kama hilo tumepata kusikia ya kutoa shukrani kwa jambo lolote katika maisha yetu wetu Mungu wetu ni asanti kwa vile umetumia mtumishi wako pastor wetu Melissa na ili tusikie huyo ufunuo ambalo Mungu wetu umetufunulia siku ya leo. Tuwe watu ambaye wanatoa shukrani kwa jambo lolote katika maisha yetu mwetu Mungu wetu. Tumesema ni asanti kwa hiyo funuo. Tumesema ni asanti hata kwa vile umetumia mtumishi wako, ni asanti hata kwa vile Mungu wetu tutaenda eh, shughuli zote zetu, maofisi, biashara na mambo yote ambayo Mungu wetu umetupatia. Mungu ni asanti kwa nguvu yako ambaye Mungu wetu umetupatia ili tufanye kazi na mikono yetu. Jina lako litukuzwe, jina lako libarikiwe kwa vile Mungu wetu unatuwezesha na nguvu yako Mungu wetu. Na hata Mungu wetu tukirudi saa kumi na moja na nusu, ni asanti kwa uwezo wako ambaye Mungu wetu itatusaidia kuja katika ikikao na tupata kusikia mambo ambaye itasaidia roho zetu, itainua Ukristo wetu na ili Mungu wetu tupate kuona wema wako katika maisha yetu. Jina lako litukuzwe, jina lako libarikiwe. Hata tukitoa sadaka zetu, ni asanti kwa vile Mungu wetu umebariki kasi ya mikono yetu Mungu wetu. Na ili Mungu wetu tuwe tukikusifu na kukushukuru kwa vile Mungu wetu utaenda kutuinua hata katika fedha zetu katika huduma yetu. Nzema ni asanti kwa kutusikia na kutujibu kwa maana tumeomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu tuseme amen na tushukuru Mungu na makovi tuseme asante kwa Mungu. Haleluya. 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 Kwanza ni kushukuru Mungu sana kwa kila mmoja wenu kwa kuhudhuria hii mkutano na pia kuwa hapa wakati wa leo na wakati wa jioni. Amen. Tunyoe sana kwa yetu kwa Pastor Melissa tumwambie Pastor Melissa hiyo ilikuwa poa. Mwambie hiyo ilikuwa yangu. Hiyo ilikuwa yangu. Mwambie nimepokea. Nimepokea. Na ni yangu. Na ni yangu. Tushukuru Mungu sana kwa makofi. Shukuru Mungu kwa makofi. Hallelujah. Asante sana Pastor, tumesema ni asante. Kwa hiyo jioni usikose. Kaigwe kaigwe msomo mwambie jioni usikose. Mwambie kuja na rafiki. Pia tunashukuru sana kwa Peter. Peter inua mkono. Tupige sana makofi. Huyo anaitwa Peter aliyeokoka ali katika kanisani sande na sasa amekuja rancha sio ni Mungu hata kitu kidogo tushukuru Mungu kwa hiyo haleluya haleluya kuokoka na kuja rancha si ni muujiza hata hiyo hiyo ni jambo ya kushukuru Mungu Mungu si ni kweli ya ukiwa msomo mapia tafadhali ni asante kwa kuja na usikoze jioni tafadhali ni asante kwa kuja na usikoze jioni tuingie kwa mifuko wale wanasandaka toa sandaka wewe shukuru Mungu kwa sababu amekupatia amekupatia sandaka Eh hey, amekupatia sadaka. Baba wetu ni asante. Kwa vile Mungu wetu umetuwezesha kuja hapa na sandaka. Na ili Mungu wetu tuendelee kubariki kasi yako ambayo Mungu wetu 
umetupatia ni asanti kwa kila mmoja wetu tukirudi manyumbani tukirudi kazini tukirudi biashara zetu tunatangaza kwamba kupitia hii sadaka tunatoa tutaendelea kubarikiwa na kuinuliwa na kupata ufunuo ambaye Mungu wetu utasendea roho zetu naomba hao tukiamini ya kwamba Mungu wetu umesikia na umetujibu na katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na tumeamini amen in the grace Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love, love of God, God and, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. May the power of that giving be impacted in our spirit as you continue to serve God in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your business. Enjoy your office. Tukutande saa kumi na moja na nusu. Utoe sana kapa.